In what ways have blacks been pitted against Asians? We need the black community to realize that the that black people are hurting Asians and they need to speak out of, uh, in their own community. Our communities are not reporting these incidences. We don't want to cause more trouble, more attention to our community. It strikes me that this is the Asian equivalent of the talk that African-American parents often have to have with their children. Manager of a Thai restaurant in Northern California was attacked last week by a man who was told that he couldn't have his food for free. Other diners in the establishment went running from their tables for safety and some rushed to help the victim. The incident occurred on November 9th at an unspecified restaurant in Berkeley on Chattertuck Avenue. Security video shows the man talking to the man, identified as Anthony Maria. He's 32, was seated at the table. He was told by the manager that he could not have his food for free. Maria appeared to need the manager in the ribs and kick him after he falls to the floor. Customers jumped in to help the restaurant manager, held Maria until authorities arrived. He is being charged with felony assault. He reportedly told one Good Samaritan that he was upset because grandmother died. Now, for me, this is just an honest question. This is just an observation, right? Now, you know, of course, we can go with the normal everyday, hey, model citizens, guess what? Your God has decided that he wanted to try to smite thee within their own home, within their own residence, within a place of which you work, where you are at peace, where you should be, in a sense, safe, where you should not fear, where there should be no danger that will come along and do anything to you. You know, technically listening to the story, if I was to go by the media and everybody else, you would technically think that a black man did this, correct? Right. Because only black men right, are the only ones that go directly after every other ethnicity out here. And we all know that Caucasian men never do anything like this, right? They never do any wrong. They're the main ones that are the heroes. They are the soldiers. They are the super men. They are the thinkers, the creators, the philosophers, the scientists, the doctors, right? They are the religion, right? In Jesus, I trust, right? But here we have it. For whatever reason, right, you, you, you have this Caucasian male that look like he has not taken a bath in probably about two, maybe three weeks, along with a decent change of clothes, <laughs> let alone his underwear. He decides to go into an Asian owned restaurant, talks to an Asian manager, proceeds to then say that, hey, <laughs> I expect my food for free because... <laughs> I'm Caucasian and I say so. And the manager's like, nah, that's not working here. And then the guy just automatically gets up and, you know, pushes the manager to the floor and he kicks him. Right. He attacks the manager, the Asian manager. This is a Caucasian man attacking an Asian manager. But then on top of that, right, you saw all the other patrons basically you know, run away from the scene, right? Not trying to help, not trying to stop and apprehend the person that attacked the Asian man who was defenseless, who was doing nothing but his job. Two white men rolled up to the scene, was like, up, oh, huh, Chris, we, we, we got this. <laughs> let's, let's go get Bob here. He's not going to make us look bad. <laughs> not today. Right. And they set up there, they took him down. Right. They, they made sure that he was going to be there up until the police showed up. And even the manager, being kicked right being attacked being embarrassed right he even went over there to make sure that the guy was going to be apprehended and that he was going to be there in order to receive you know whatever charges that they gave now my main thing is this um i would have called this a race-based attack because if you technically look at it and, and this is just my observation right he brutally went after that manager who was not expecting any type of attack. And you saw how the manager reacted. He was shocked. You know, he didn't know what to, in a sense, make of it. Um, you know, and, I, and more than likely, possibly because of that, you know, adrenaline might have been, you know, moving at that time. So, you know, maybe the pain that he felt um, is a lot less than what it could have been if, you know, some things didn't, you know, take place. But that's just, you know, me throwing that directly in there. My main point is this, right? He decided to viciously attack the Asian 
manager, but he did not have that same energy for his own. I mean, he might have, you know, moved back and forth. He might have been resisting, but he wasn't trying to like really knock them down and kick them in the ribs and do all of. He 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 wasn't, you know, really trying to do that because if he wanted to, he could have. But that's not what he did. That's not what he did. He put up a little bit of a fight, a little bit. So all I'm saying is, to me, being a you know a black man, a a, a simple onlooker, right, just looking through the window, just peering, you know, into what is taking place here. I know for a fact that if a black man were to have committed to such violent and heinous actions, that undoubtedly this would be a hate crime. It would be categorized as a hate crime. People on social media would have been calling for hate crime charges. You would have had the greatest of the greatest, uh, you know, Asian American supporters showing directly up from South Korea and, and wherever else to basically talk about this incident, talking about it on TikTok, IG, making YouTube videos, right? Making YouTube commercials, making different types of ads, talking about it on Facebook, trying to push the, the, the narrative directly in front of mainstream media so then they can spin and push the narrative even further. But oddly enough, I don't remember seeing this on the news. Only way I heard about it is due to the fact of a very awesome person that follows the channel. And they uh, they decided to have that link directly right there. And I just checked it out. And look at that. <laughs> it, it, it's not really a, a large story. You don't hear the social justice warriors really trying to talk about this story, push this story preach all of the things that they normally preach, which is, oh, black men are, you know, always going after the Asian community. Why is this? What is up with all of this hatred and yada, yada? Because they can't push that narrative. Guess what? This story doesn't mean anything. This is why you don't see this story getting pushed. This is why you don't see celebrities talking about it. Because you can't hold on to that branding. You can't brand you know, in a sense, somebody Caucasian the same way that you can brand somebody who is black. And people who know know and people who don't, well, you, <laughs> you're just not going to understand and it is what it is and that's completely fine. But at the end of the day, I say that there should be hate crime charges and um, hopefully the manager, you know, thinking logically uh, hopefully that manager will get a lawyer and, you know, try to push this a step further, because as they stated before, even in the video, um, this is not this dude's first time basically coming to this restaurant and deciding to act a whole complete fool. This is not his first time. But like I said before, more than likely the Asian community, what normally happens is they like to keep their head down. They like to seem small and they don't want to draw any type of attention directly to themselves, because if they do, then guess what? That means that they feel that other people are going to want to copy uh, what it is that the original perpetrator did or that, you know, if they happen to speak, then that means that they're asking for more attention to show up and it's going to be that same type just because they're standing up for themselves. So, you know, like I said, I don't know what else to really tell people. Asian Americans, you know, this is technically one of your own people. What are you going to do about these situations of Caucasian individuals coming into your your public space, uh, uh, onto your private property near you when you're walking or into the restaurants that you own and they decide to treat and act like this. Are y'all going to call it out? Are y'all going to say something about it? Are y'all going to try to group up and formulate hate crime charges on the individual and get them locked up in prison for a significant amount of time? Or are you guys just going to sit back and stay silent like you normally do? Unless, 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 unless it's a black man that did it. <laughs>